we saw that light rays, rays propagate along a straight line, as we can see here. Now, if we put a mirror on the, along the path of the light, we can see that the light cannot go through the mirror, so it is reflected off the mirror. We say the light rays can bounce off the mirror. And earlier, we discussed the law of reflection, which tells us that the angle, we always measure the angle from the normal to the mirror, from the line per perpendicular to the surface of the mirror. The angle of reflection of light, excuse me, the angle of incidence of light is always equal to the angle of reflection. That's called the law of reflection. But you might ask, what will happen if instead of the mirror, we have a glass slab that the light can go through? Right now, I place the light slab in such a way that its surface is perpendicular to the light ray. In other words, the normal to the surface is exactly situated along the light ray. Now what we want to do is to understand what happens when we are going to tilt it a little bit. So I'm going to start tilting it, and I want you to pay attention to the light ray, how it was before once again. That's how it was before. And now I want to, you to notice a couple of things. First of all, I hope you can see the reflected ray, the, ref, re, the ray reflected of the surface. Second, I want you to notice that the light that is coming out of the slab is not located along the original line, the original path of the light. It is located, it is shifted, but it is shifted along it. And what it tells us is that it happens because the light, I'm trying to make it a little bit darker so you can see that the light ray is, it's probably when you show the demo, try to make it in a dark room and then the kids can see it better, that the light ray bends and we say it is refracted from the word fracture. So it refracts and the law of refraction is a very important law and it happens because the speed of light in air is not the same that the speed of light inside the glass or any other material and the light always chooses the shortest time to go from one point to another point. That's why it refracts when the two media or the first medium is air, the second is glass, have different, we call them indices of refraction. To show you how it works, we can also use a half glass and half glass, excuse me, half circle. Half a circle is convenient because if I make sure that the light hits exactly the center of the circle, it, when it, whatever happens to it, it will always going to be along, moving along the radius of the circle. And we know that the radius is always perpendicular to the tangent. So in other words, the only refraction that's going to be happening is right here and not at the end because because if the light ray is perpendicular to the surface, it does, it does not refract. And now I'm going, to, I'm going to do it like this. I'm going to create an angle of incidence which is different from zero degrees, and you can see that the light bends. And that is a demonstration of the law of refraction. In a lot of optical devices we will discuss, such as lenses, glasses, telescopes, and your eyes use those laws for their operation. We're going to discuss how they work a little bit later.